Hello everyone. I'm gonna read you this story. It's called Shimmer and Shine, the Amazing Magic Show. One sunny afternoon, Leah was helping Zack practice tricks for his magic show. Zack held out his arm. I present to you the never ending scarf trick just took on the scarf coming out of my sleeve and you'll find the longest scarf in the world. Ooh, and she's helping him doing Leah's helping Zack with his magic shit uh, well magic magic trick trick of the scarf. This scene they pull out the scarf. Leah pulled out three tiny scarves. Oops. Zack shrugged. I forgot to tie the scarves together. Are you sure you're ready to put on a magic show? Leah asked. Zack nodded. I'll be ready. I'm the amazing Zack. The magic is in me. And in Rocket's mouth. And in Rocket's mouth, Leah pointed to Rocket, who was gnawing hungrily on Zack's wand. Zack tugged the wand and free and handed it to Leah. Hold on to this while I go inside and feed Rocket. Maybe he'll stop eating my magic stuff. I think Zack needs more help with his magic show than I can give him, Leah said. Wait, who knows magic better than a couple of genies? She held her necklace and called for Shimmer and Shine. So she's calling for Shimmer and Shine to help out with Zack's magic trick. Sorry, magic show. Let's see. Liam explained that Zack was putting on a magic show. He does magic? Like us? Shimmer gasped. Is Zack a genie? No, he's a magician, Leah said. He does magic tricks on stage. I'm his assistant, but I need your help to get his tricks to work. If we're going gonna put on a magic show, we gotta dress the part. Shimmer waved her wand, and a flash, they all were wearing fancy gowns. Ooh. So I guess I'll help Zack shimmer and shine. That's cool. That just shows the awesome. Shine flew into the air. And you can have a magic show without a stage. Leah gasped as a stage appeared before her eyes. Guys, this is amazing! You think this is amazing? Shimmer grinned. Wait till you see Zack. The genies jumped into Zack's magic trunk to hide as he came running into Leah's yard wearing a snazzy new costume. I told you I had some magic in me. He saw the stage behind Leah. Whoa! You made a stage? Just try to be a good magician's assistant, said Leah. <laughs> so Leah, so, so the Shimmer Shine brought a stage to Leah's backyard. And Zack came in with his new costume, and he thought Leah brought the stage, and he was excited. Let's see what might happen next. 
sack flopped up his cape. Speaking of assistant, could you please bring me the box for my disappearing tricks? Leah opened the magic trunk and spoke to the genies. For my first wish, I wish the disappearing trick would work. Shy clapped her hands. Shimmer and shine disappearing trick divine. Leah handed the box to Zack. He placed the carrot inside and taped the box with his wand. Tapped the box with his wand. Abraka pow! Disappear now! He chanted to make the carrot disappear. But after the cloud of smoke cleared, both the carrot and the box have vanished. That's cool that Shimmer and Shine are helping Zack with his magic show. And they made a box and the carrot disappeared. See, there it is. They're making it disappear. That's cool. The trick worked! Zack was eager to try his next act, pulling a rabbit out of his hat. But when he took his hat off, the rabbit was inside. Was it inside? Where's he go? He asked. He's still on your head, giggled Leah. The rabbit scampered off. While Zack chased the runaway rabbit, the genies popped out of the trunk. About that trick, I just meant that I wanted the carrot to disappear, not the whole box, said Liam. Shy sighed. My mistake, Liam. I guess I made the trick work a little too well. That is okay, Shy, Liam heard Zack approaching. He's back! Quick! Behind the curtain! So, they're helping Zad with his magic show. And Zad was trying to make a rabbit come out of his head, but I guess the rabbit got in his head and hopped out off of his head. And now, now Leah's mad with Shine because Leah wanted Shine to make the, the carrot disappear, not the box. But... It was a mistake. Everyone makes a mistake, right? That's true. Zack returned, but without the bunny. Since my magic is crushing it with an awesomeness, I don't think I'll need that rabbit. I can pull a new one out of my hat. Leah ducked behind the curtain. For my second wish, I wish Zack had a real magic hat. Shimmer and shine, real magic had divine whispers shimmering. Zack leaped onto the stage. Hold on to your hat as I pull something out of mine. He swept his magician's head off his head. Abraka pow, rabbit now. And with a little hop, a rabbit jumped out. That is cool. Was Shimmer and shine help make that hat? Magical to pull out a rabbit. That's cool. For that, to pull the rabbit. But the rabbit wasn't the only animal that came out of the hat. A clucking chicken, a scampering squirrel, two piglets, a goat, and an enormous elephant jumped out too. Wow! I didn't think a whole zoo was going to come out of there, gasped Leah. Me neither, said Zack. This must mean we're finally ready for the magic show. He hurried to his house to get Rocket. That's cool, look at a goat, uh, a chicken, and a squirrel, and an elephant came out of his hat, even a little. Hmm. Two piglets. That's cool. An enormous elephant. 
Suddenly, a loud cry came from the hat, and then a stream of water shot straight into the sky. Was that a whale? Leah asked. I can't have a whale in my backyard. Oh, I wish the magic hat would just stop already. It was her last wish. Zion clapped her hands. Shimmer and shine, stop this magic hat. Divine. Now we have to figure out a way to help sex magic show without my genie wishes, said Liam. Shimmer grinned. We just need to work together. The three girls quickly made a plan. That night, all the animals gather around the stage. Let the magic show begin, announced Zack. So now a whale is also inside his hat. But since Liam wanted to stop the magic hat not to bring more animals, Shimmer clapped her hands three times, and now the hat's not magical anymore. For his first act, Zack performed his never-ending scarf trick with some help from Shimmer and Shine. It went off without a hitch. Next, Zack put Leah in a cage and draped a cloth over it. When he pulled the cloth away, Neha was inside. Backstage, Leah, Shimmer and Shine giggled. Their plan was working. That looks cool what they're doing together. And he's doing this show and he's happy about it, but he's also getting help. All thanks to Leah. And for my final trick, the um trick I, ah, the amazing Zack, will make these animals disappear. Zack threw a cloth over all the animals that had come out of the magic hat. When he pulled the cloth away and all the animals had disappeared, the trick had worked. Rocket gave Zack and Liam a barking ovation. So now the animals were there and now they're not there. That's cool. Magic is awesome. After Zack had gone home, Shimmer and Shine came out of their hiding place. You made the animals disappear? Leah exclaimed. But the twins hadn't done anything. Maybe he does have magic in him, said Shine. Little did they know the animals were at Zack's home eating carrots. And that is the end of our story. A Shimmer and Shine, The Amazing Magic Show! Ta-da! And that was all glittery. You see? You could get this book and these Storm Boys to girls. Well, I think we all learned a lesson that sometimes magic could be very hard. But also, it could be very fun. So, boys and girls, what I'm going to say is that what Zach was trying to do, he was trying to improve everyone that he could do anything he wants to do. Right, Carmen? Yeah, you are right. Right, Cowie? Yes, you are right. So, Carmen and Cowie. Yes? Yes. So what did we learn from Shimmer and Shine the Amazing well, Magic Show? Well, Zach was trying to improve everyone. Well, sorry, Leah, in her backyard, that he could do magic. Yeah, magic is very fun, but it could be very dangerous, too. Yes, you are right, Cowie. So, and when, so what were they doing in the backyard of Leah? Well, Zach was... Trying to make a magic show! So what was his first trick, Cowie? His first trick was to pull a long scarf. And did that work? No! 
how? He didn't tie the scarves, the little scarves together. Wah, wah, wah. That did not work for Zack. So what did Leah did? Leah called for Shimmer and Shine, the genies, to help Zack with his magic trick show problem. Yes, but Zack didn't know that Leah was helping him. So, another question. What else? What was Zack's next trick? Trying to make the carrots disappear in the box. So, did it, did it work? Yes. Shimmer and Shine clapped their hands three times. Clap, 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 clap. Abracabam, pow! Make the carrot disappear! And did that work? Yes, but also the box had disappeared too. Ay, 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 Shine. And Leah did not like that, but it was fun. It was okay. She was okay with it. So what was the next string that the um, that Zach was trying to do? Well, he was trying to pull the rabbit out of his magical hat. And did that work? Well, no. The rabbit was on top of his head, like this. Hey, what are you doing, Cowie? I'm on top of him. And then jumped off. Wee! Boom! No, silly cow! I jumped like that. Wee! Boom! No, silly Carmen! Okay, we're just trying to make everybody laugh. So, that shit didn't work either. Nope, it did not work at all. So when, so when um Zach left, where, what did Shimmer Shine did in Leah's backyard? They brought a magic show stage. Yes, Papa, and it was big and humongous. And then when Zack came back with his new magic suit costume, he was excited about the stage. And yeah, and he loved it all thanks to Leah. And, well, he didn't know Shimmer and Shine were helping him too. So, so what was also, so during the show, what did Zack use his first trick again? Did a scarf trick, and he tried to pull a long scarf. Yeah, long, 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 long scarf, and it was very, very long. Yeah, all thanks to Shimmer and Shine. And then, what was the next trick he did? He pulled out. Oh yeah, for this, Shimmer and Shine made that magic, made Zach's hat. Magical! Yes, and when he, well, pulled out the rabbit out of the magical hat, he pulled out big lips, goats, a uh, enormous elephant, and a chicken, and a squirrel, and a, oh yeah, he said goat. And then, something like a lot of water came out of the hat. Guess what it was, Cowie? What is it? Is it an, uh... I know, I know, I know. Is it burritos? No, it was a whale. So Leah did not like that part. So he, she told Shimmer and Shine to stop that magical hat again. And then my favorite part of the magic show that I loved. What was it? Carmen, he was a disappearing in the cage. He he told Leah to go inside the cage, and then he put a cloth over it like this. Over oh sorry, over like this. And then what happened? Abra kaboom! Hey, where's Cowie? Hello. Ah! Oh, sorry. I just put the kitty out of Carmen. <laughs> yeah, he, well, Leah disappeared. When he pulled the scarf off, 
Then you disappeared. And then he did the same thing with the animals. And whew, we do it again. Like this. I'm a kaboo! Ha ha ha, he finally disappeared! Ah! <laughs> oh, silly cow, you give me a heart attack! <laughs> uh, very funny. So, that was, a, that was my favorite part too of the story. So, when they stopped the show, was Zach really happy when he did? Yes, he was. And Shimmer and Shine were very, very good helpers for helping him with his magical show. And all thanks to Leo. So remember. So what happened in the story? Well, Zach has stopped the show. And he was so excited to be with his friends and the steady ovation from the animals that really enjoyed the show. Yes, that is true. And Leah was happy because Shimmer and Shine helped Zack with his magical problem. And Shine said that Zack has magic inside him. And he does! And that was the end of a happy magical show ever! All thanks to Zack and Shimmer and Shine and Leah. So what advice can you give to the boys and girls? Well, boys and girls, what you could do at home, you could create a magic show or a pop up show too. Yeah, you could, you could improve your family members or anyone that will enjoy see your show, like dancing, or a puppet show, or a magic, magic, oh yeah, magic show, abacaboo, bah! Hey, where's Carmen? Does anybody see Carmen? Bah! <laughs> I finally got you, Cowie! So, boys and girls, enjoy our fun, think something creative what you can do at home, okay? And stay safe, don't do nothing dangerous, okay, boys and girls? Love you all! And create a magic show! And ask, invite anyone to your magic show, okay? Good night, everybody! Love you all! And be yourself. Good night, everybody. Sleep dreams. Hmm. Time to get some. Good night, Cowie. Good night, Carmen. So remember, boys and girls. At home, you could do any fun activities. You could create your own magic show or your own puppet show. Or you could like do a dancing show. You could think of something creative at home. You can well don't watch TV all day. Don't play video games all day. That's boring. Remember I told you kids that you could go outside and play. Think something creative that you want to do. Make a storybook or or just make your own drawings that you want to draw. Or make your own frisbees. Make your own tennis racket. Make could think something creative that you could do at home, boys and girls. That way you won't be bored. That way you could be more active. Okay, everybody? Right here at home, I love thinking creative. I love making my own storybooks. I love creating games. And I love doing public shows. And that's all I love to sing, too. So, uh, what you could do at home, boys and girls, you could be creative. And think creative. And always use your heart. Okay? That's the most important part that helps us and you kids be you. And it makes me be me too. Alright, good night everybody. Love you all. Stay safe and stay away from that virus. Okay? Good night. <laughs>